do you ever think about I know a lot of people uh, they don't really think about the world that they live in all they really care about is their smartphones oh what, who's talking shit about me on Facebook who's talking shit about me on Instagram oh someone liked my post someone liked my post oh my god like that's and the average American, that's all they can fucking give a shit. Oh, what's on TV? What's on Netflix? Oh my God, keeping up with the Kardashians. Woo, I'm American. But like most Americans, again, dumb as fuck. Let's be honest. Minimum 84% of Americans are just, you can write them off, right? They're just as intelligent as an amoeba in the primordial soup of this fucking earth, okay? That is to say, not very intelligent, Right? But I, on the other hand, and, you know, a lot of people that exist in this world that we share with the zombies, like to think about the world and think about ways to make it better. And um, one of the areas where you see the zombies get really fucking pissed off about is the border. The border. You see Republicans talk about this. Zombies. They're, they're not real people. I need... I really... And I know... Oh, the human... Republicans are not real people like you, like me. Okay? They're not real people. Okay? They're insane, psychopathic, mutated creatures, okay? They are antisocial so much to the point where they want to kill other people that just disagree with them. They want to kill people that disagree with them. They're freaks, okay? I need you to understand this. They're freaks, Republicans. Now, a lot of Democrats are freaks too. I'm not going to let them off the hook. But again, Republicans really, they... Wow. I mean, these guys are like bona fide fucking fucked up freaks, okay? But they love the border. At least, well, they love talking about it, you know? Joe Biden, by the way, has had... I know that this fact, this is a fact, PH, fact, that really upsets Republicans. Joe Biden has a stricter border policy than Donald Trump did. Think about, I know, it blows people's brains. But facts really don't care about the fact that your brain was blown out by your own fucking stupidity and propaganda consumption. Joe Biden has kept in place what is called Title 42, which essentially is, it's, it's essentially what Trump brought in when the pandemic happened to restrict border crossings. But again... That was in the last year of Donald Trump's administration. We've had Title 42 now for a, a good chunk. You could even say a majority of the Biden administration. We've had Title 42 in place. This idea that Joe Biden has loosened the border is completely manufactured. It's made up. They pulled it out of somebody's asshole. Steve Bannon, maybe. Joe Biden. Under Joe Biden's presidency, we have more of a border wall. Joe Biden campaigned on the wall is racist. Donald Trump is racist. He got elected. He got inaugurated, which was a struggle to get to that point. And now he's finishing the wall. So six months ago, the wall is racist. Trump is a xenophobe. Six months later, let's finish the wall. That's Joe Biden for you. So again, a lot of people get triggered when they realize or when they hear that Joe Biden is actually stricter on immigration than Donald Trump has been. That makes people upset. But again, we live in this world where there is a multi-billion dollar industry around creating and manufacturing lies about the world. That's called the Republican Party. That's called Republican and conservative media. It is a multi-billion dollar industry where they basically go to think tanks, groups of people, to create the most soothing lie to ship off to the American public and the dumb fuck zombies actually believe it. Now, this is all a prelude to say, I'm going to be reading a Daily Mail article, so... El Paso mayor declares a state of emergency with border facilities already at capacity ahead of Title 42 ending in 10 days. So Biden is choosing not to renew Title 42. Now, why is that? Because Joe Biden is pretending the pandemic is over. This is another thing that Joe Biden did. He campaigned on eradicating COVID. Does anyone remember Joe Biden's epic ass tweet? 
anyone who's president when 300,000 Americans die shouldn't be allowed to be president. Whatever, paraphrasing. Does anyone remember that banger, that absolutely vintage greatest hits fucking banger from Joe Biden? Well, again, Joe Biden managed to do what Trump could never dream of. And Joe Biden took a country where Republicans didn't believe in science and threw Democrats and independents into that mix. There are three factions in this country politically. Democrats, you could say four if you count apolitical people. Democrats, Republicans, independents. Under Donald Trump's administration, only Republicans refused to believe in science. Joe Biden got Democrats and independents and apolitical people to become anti-vaxxers. Under the first uh, round of vaccines under Joe Biden, we had about 80% uptake on vaccines. The most recent vaccine has had 80% refusal. Refusal. Now, some people claim that Americans didn't know. We've lived here, what, for eight months now? Uh, maybe even longer with a bivalent booster shot. So if you don't know about it, I'm sorry. Um, I've got a bridge to sell you. And uh, after you're done buying the bridge, I know an activity that you can fucking think about, okay? On that bridge. But with all of that being said, this fake outrage that is now... This is going to be the next talking point. El Paso. State of emergency in El Paso. The illegals. The illegals are coming in. The aliens. It's an alien invasion. Woo! The UFOs in the sky. The aliens are coming down from Mexico. They're coming in. They got aliens from Honduras. You know, they got aliens from Chile. They got aliens. You know, I can go for some Chile right now. Maybe even throw a hot dog in there. They got aliens goddamn coming from Argentina. They got aliens coming from Mexico. They got aliens. Right, so we're going to have to put up with this shit now. A completely, again, it's entirely fake. But wait a second. Some Republicans out there might be saying, Well, you tell me there's no problem with the border? No, there is a problem with the border. The fact that we have a border is a problem. This idea... That human beings can draw magical lines in the sand. You step on one end of the si of the line in the sand. You're an illegal. You're an alien. You take a one step over. Oh, you're a naturalized citizen. You're on one side of the line on the sand. And you light a blunt. It's totally fine. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. You go to the you step over onto the other line in the sand and SWAT start they come out of the skies, ropes pouring down from the sky like rain, helicopters crashing in on you. Whoa, we got a pot smoker. Let's throw that bitch in jail. What? What? But again, a lot of people say this is another thing you hear from Republicans. They're fucked up freaks. They're stupid, dumb, fuck, fucking shit for brains. You ever hear this shit from Americans? Because this is a country of immigrants. So Americans have to come up with some sort of coping for the fact that their parents, grandparents, and so on had to immigrate here at some point, right? So what do they do? Well, they say shit like this. <clears throat> Why don't they just come in legally, you know? My Mima, bless her heart, she died in 19, got dang, got dang. You know, my Mima came into this country totally legally, and, and she had a family, she did it the right way, she started a business, she bought a house, she had kids. Now, why don't these illegal aliens come in the right way? You, you hear people say this in earnest. They say this, and they mean it. Now, you might be out there, one of the zombies or zombie adjacent, and you don't know why I'm making fun of this person. Well, guess what? Did you know that as time progresses, we live in a linear time line, right? Time goes in a one direction, right? So what's true in 1941 is not necessarily true in 2023, so when these dumb fuck shit for brains memaws immigrated to the United States, the laws were different. It was significantly easier to enter the United States. 
the last 40 years especially, we have gotten a lot stricter on immigration, which is, I say, a bad thing. I think immigration is awesome and wonderful, and it allows for a lot of cultural mixtures that I find fascinating. But the doing it the right way is next to impossible for large portions of this planet. Unless you're rich or you know somebody in the United States who is a citizen, you're pretty much fucking shit out of luck when it comes to immigrating into the United States. Okay? So again, now that I've said all of this, what do we need to do? What we need to do is create a system where legal immigration is encouraged and easy. We need to hire more judges to approve of immigration papers. The idea that there are cops at the prisons on the border, the concentration camps on the border, the idea that we have cops there, and instead of spending that money, instead of cops on, I don't know, bilingual uh, people that can help them process documents, what's going to solve the problem sooner? Having a cop posing for OnlyFans in front of a concentration camp full of kids that are crying because they don't know where their parents are. By the way, does anyone remember that story? There was this, like, viral uh, concentration camp tour, and there was this, like, ice guard who, like, I guess was semi-attractive or whatever, and uh, she used the fact that she was in that video to start an OnlyFans. Does anyone remember this? (laughs) I don't know, maybe I got fucked up internet brain, but damn, that one was funny as shit. She turned being a fucking Nazi concentration camp guard into a porn career. (laughs) Look it up, it's crazy stuff. But anyway, wouldn't it make sense, instead of having uh, soon-to-be porn stars, not that there's anything wrong with porn stars, by the way, I have no problem with that. I'm just saying, the whole whole situation was hilarious. But instead of having wannabe porn stars pointing guns at the crying kids, how about we spend that money on people that can, I don't know, judges, for example, that can approve of the papers? How, why don't we, you know, think about it. I don't know, a little bit? Just think about the world a little bit, maybe? Uh, And you can create another fucking world that's better for everybody? Um, I love this one. Biden administration opening processing centers and vows border is not open. Now, again, we live in a world where there is no such thing as language. We all act like there's language. We all go about our business like there's language. But fundamentally, there is no language. What does the word open mean? Think about it. Think about it. Again, we live in a 1984 type situation where huge swaths, we're talking 40% of Americans, they think the border is open. There was a poll I saw about this that said 40% of Americans do not approve of Biden's open border policies. They think the border is open. Like you could just walk on through. Like you're going from fucking Kansas to goddamn Missouri. They literally think the border is open. Like I, this is what we're dealing with, okay? I really need you to understand that when such a large group of people believe in something that is verifiably untrue, we got a lot of work to do before we can fix immigration in this country. We have a lot of work to do before we can do anything. Anything. When 60% of this country believes that Jesus is watching them jerk off And he's judging 60%. They believe that Jesus is judging them. 60% of this country believes that there are angels watching over them and their family. Angels. 60% of Americans. They believe that angels 
invisible, by the way, because they're always invisible, are watching over their family while they jerk off. Like, I'm just like, 40% of Americans, 40, two out of every five Americans, they genuinely believe the rapture is imminent. What is the rapture? Jesus or God or some shit will descend from the sky, bring all the Christians to heaven while Lucifer fucks shit up on earth or whatever. 40% of Americans literally not only believe that the rapture will happen at some point, believe it's imminent. Like you're going to wake up one day, open your curtain and holy shit, there's a cyclone in the sky. Is that Jesus? Four in 10 Americans think literally they wake up, they brush their teeth and they go, is Jesus up there yet? Gone, gone save me and my family. So again, I really, I don't know. I don't even know what to do. The, the mayor of El Paso, Texas on Monday declared a state of emergency amid overcrowding from an influx of migrants. How about, I don't know, build another fucking facility. How about, I don't know, process the motherfucking migrants. Like we have fucking, bu we have solutions here. Now, again, I've said this before, but America, this is a metaphor for America. You in this metaphor are America. When I use the word you, I'm talking about America. Okay. So imagine you're in a room. Um, your friend brings out a plate of cookies, all right? We all love cookies. You know, they're bad for you, but hey, once in a while, let's have a goddamn cookie. You know, they got that weird fucking plastic wrap on them that's like gonna leach microplastics into the cook, whatever. So he takes the plastic off, you reach for the cookie. Hold on a second. I put cyanide in these cookies. They're poisoned. They're going to kill you within a couple minutes. If you if you eat one of these cookies, you will die in a couple minutes. And then they take their hand off your hand. Now, Americans will eat the cookie. Doesn't matter. The poison, no poison. That's a cookie, motherfucker. So imagine you eat the cookie. All right. You're going like, whoa. You know, you start feeling all fucked up. Then this guy who gave you the cookie says, check this out. Imagine what's in my hand is a capsule, a pill. It's the antidote. If you take this pill, you will live. So he puts the pill down on the table in front of you. Now, again, just for the sake of the metaphor here, we have complete motor control, at least for a couple minutes. There is nothing stopping us from consuming the antidote. Now imagine Americans will literally eat the poison cookie they know is already poisoned, stare at the antidote as they foam at the mouth and die. <laughs> because they're fucking stupid. I spit all over myself. They're fucking stupid. We have the solution, okay? The solution is more judges, more processing employees, less agents, less Nazis, less ICE, and loosen the border so that we don't shoot people that are just walking too close onto the other side of our fucking jail wall. So again, what do you do in a country where Americans are killing themselves and staring at the solutions while they foam at the mouth and die? How do you proceed? I'm just... Because this is where I'm at. In my philosophical journey, this is where I'm stuck. I can't get past this part. In my head, when 40% of people believe the rapture is coming and believe that we have open borders, 60% of people believe Jesus and or angels are watching over them and their family, 80% of people refuse safe, free if you were reading this, I would use bold and italics. Free. It's free. It costs zero dollars. And it's safe. Free, effective vaccine. 80% refuse it. And you wonder why this country is in shambles? Oh. 
I don't, I don't have any solutions. My solution is to educate people en masse. But no one fucking listens to me. Uh, so I guess that not, that's not gonna work. Anyway, you can read more of this. We're gonna deal with this fucking fake crisis for the for a while now. Now that El Paso is doing the state of emergency, you bet your sweet ass motherfucking shit ass bippy that goddamn motherfucking Greg Abbott is gonna come on down and go the Biden administration open border policy. Goddamn God, we're going to have to send troops to the border. Send the troops to the border. Goddamn pretenders with the aliens. The aliens. Did anyone see Greg Abbott? By the way, there was a mass shooting in Texas, and Greg Abbott referred to the victims as illegal immigrants. You may be shocked to know that they're not illegal immigrants. They're just legal migrants. But Greg Abbott hates immigrants so much that he called them illegals at a press conference. Illegals. Yeah, well, we have a sad day where illegals got killed. Well, you know, it's not that sad. Oh, wait, you're telling me they're legal? Well, they're still aliens in some way or another. I mean, look at them. You know, like... So what do you do? In a country where 40% of people believe that Jesus is going to descend from the sky at any minute and rescue their family, how do you even... How do you even begin? How do you even begin? I need you to really... Think about this. This is the fundamental question that anyone who's got a remote interest in politics has to reckon with. Do we just ignore the zombies? I mean, there's a lot of them. It's hard to ignore about 80% of the population. It's hard to ignore 40% of the population. So what do you do? When so many people are so fucking propagandized and so fucking stupid, what do you do? I don't know. I, I'm asking. I, I, I don't know. I'm not, this is not a rhetorical question. I, I genuinely have no idea. This is where I'm at in my political journey. I have no fucking idea. How could you possibly do mass education? You can't. Because then people will say, Communism! They're teaching people about the world over here! Yo! Yo! yo they're teaching kids about biology in these here rooms! They're teaching kids who George Washington has slaves! Can you believe this shit? Someone go get the share we gone, go down and take it! So you can't do that. You can't do mass education. So what do you do? One at a time? I'm supposed to just like help people one at a time and then hope to God or whatever that that's going to work. <laughs> now, call me selfish if you want. I'm 26 years old. Now, I don't have any grand plans on personally saving the world. That's not the game I'm in. Um, but I'd like I'd like to move people. I'd like to bring some people over to the to the reality that we're all suffering through at least a little bit. If I could bring some people. I'm going to be 27 soon. Can you believe this fucking shit? Holy fuck. Anyway. Um, so I'm trying to think, like, what could we do before I die? Within my lifetime, what can we do to fix this world? And right now, I got the answer. It's a big fat zero. I got nothing. So, if anyone wants to help out with my thought process, because I'm not going to lie to you, and... Maybe I'm wrong and feel free to have this conversation. Um, but I think educating people, generally speaking, educating people is far more effective than any political campaign you could possibly think of. That's my, that I'm willing to say that. If you put the same resources that you would put into running for office into mass education, I feel like you would have a more beneficial outcome. That's just my opinion. Um, 
but obviously I also I don't have any money to put anywhere so it's like it's not like I can reallocate money I don't have but anyway there you go fake border crisis we're gonna be dealing with this shit for a while so put your seatbelts on folks we're going to la la land and uh and have a good trip